Dr. Aul, welcome back. We are always glad to have you at Yalla Kora, and especially this time with a great announcement. So what's going on now? Thank you so much, Dina. It's always a pleasure to be back here uh, at Yalla Kora. Yeah, actually, we have a very good news uh, for the Egyptian youth, I hope. Yeah. Uh, so we are launching a, a football camp um, with our partner Six Yards uh, here in Egypt. It will take place um, from the 21 to the 26th of April and we are excited because it's the first time uh, La Liga is doing such an event and a project in the country and uh, we're trying to replicate some of the models that we did uh, successfully worldwide uh, but it's important I think for the region and for La Liga here to, to be able to tackle this project. The first time in Egypt but uh, did you do a camp before at the Middle East? In Middle East, we have uh, academies and we yeah. have several sports projects, but it is true that it is the first time we are doing such a, such a specific project with, uh, we will enter into detail after, but um, with the magnitude and the um, mission that we want to put into this project, because for us, this is not only one project that we will live and, and halas. <laughs> uh, it's, it the start. We can it's, say a start. it's a start. Yeah. For us, yes, it is. What's your point of view for this camp? Is it just a camp for football or what are you looking for? Well, definitely when we are thinking about a project like this, our goal is to be focused. Uh, the core part of the, of the camps, of course, is the football part. And that's why we are La Liga, we are a football company, so we are experts in this part. So that's why we are bringing two coaches, um, aside with the local coaches that are going to be part of the team. They will be um, basically in charge of the football development of, of, the, of the kids, participants. But of course the camps is going to be much more than that, as we are La Liga, we are much more than football, so we try to apply this also to our projects. So of course the camps will include leisure activities, it's going to be in a fantastic hotel in Maccabi Bay. I didn't go yet, but uh, I'm uh, very sure excited to be, uh, to be there. <laughs> Um, so I guess it's going to be um, swimming pool, it's going to be other sports activities. Um, I mean, it's going to be a great time for anyone that is going to participate there. Yeah, and what age uh, are you uh, targeting? We are opening the um, age group from 9 to 17 years old. So we believe that um, this is the moment, especially for, for youngsters to start, to get the first touch with um, high level coaches that they can start developing their skills but also it's appointed for um, all levels of um, performance so we can go from beginners to kids that are already playing football in some clubs in their schools so we wanted to do a camps for everyone and later we will adapt to the conditions of each age group and also each level so we are opening it for all the ages for all the be uh, beginners, professional, whatever you are looking for? Maybe professional is um, going to be a bit um, easier for you. Easier for, yeah, for them, especially because if you open for everyone, um, there are more uh, amateurs than professionals. Yeah. So, but of course, what I'm sure is that they will have a, a great time. But I think it's more a camp for beginner, medium level, and of course, mm, that kids that they like to play football. So in Egypt, this is uh, yeah. something else. So maybe beginner level in Egypt is uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> far away <laughs> from, a, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, you're targeting girls or boys? Um, this edition we are targeting boys. Boys and boys, um, yes. um, But girls are welcome also. Girls are welcome also. We think that in the future we will be able to increase the project and to maybe develop um, camps that are bigger in size, bigger in resources, so we will be able to target in even more age groups, more um, geographical locations. Okay. Only five winners will win to go mm -hmm. to Spain s and spend like uh, five or six days mm -hmm. at La Liga Center. Who will choose the five uh, players? Well, this is something that um, is more from the technical uh, part, from the coaches that are going to be there. So basically during the days that the camps uh, in Egypt is going to take place, the coaches will analyze several aspects that I'm not an expert, but yeah. uh, basically they have technical the aspects. Yeah, exactly. they, yeah. So they will go through it, and after the camps is completed, they will select, uh, in their opinion, the five uh, suitable players to be able to travel to, to Spain to have a, a La Liga experience there in, in the SC Center in, in Madrid. Uh, in July, right? In July, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you see that uh, the Egyptian uh, players 
are well uh, developed for this or they need more work, they need more uh, experience. Listen, I think Egypt is a country where football is mm, the top priority yes. and the top, <laughs> uh, the top of the, everyone's mind, so and especially for the, for the youth. I'm sure that the kids are going to be prepared in all the aspects needed like skills, um, physical condition, and I'm sure we are not going to find any difference if we make this in Egypt or Spain or anywhere else. So we are meant to, uh, to take care of the youth of the ta Egyptian talents and maybe they will join the La Liga one day. Well, that would be <laughs> excellent news. That would be excellent news. Yeah, because um, after Midu, we, we didn't find we didn't have any Egyptian player in La Liga. It's true, it's true. The other day, actually, it was a, a player from Villarreal that yeah. has, a, I think, a father or mother that is Egyptian. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you as you see, I'm super yeah. aware of this uh, topic. Yeah, okay. But it is true. It is true. It's, uh, it's something that, obviously, um, at a personal and a professional level. I would love that um, some Egyptian players will, will join La Liga. No? Of course, uh, this program is not meant to create yeah. the future, the future uh, La Liga players. It's a way to introduce maybe a La exactly. Liga culture for the exactly. Egyptian players. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Raul, thank you so much and it's always a pleasure having you with us. Thank you so thank much, Lina. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>